What's up, guys? All right. So next on the build agenda for the uh, Trailfinder 2, took some searching, but uh, finally received uh, replacements for the stock um, shock mounts for the front to the extended ones. These are uh, Chinese knockoff. However, um, they feel a little, little bit less, uh, I guess a little lower on the quality scale for metal, but they are, they are metal and all the holes do line up pretty nicely. So I'm going to get these on there and then I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to deal with the, uh, inner fenders for that because that's not going to work um so stay tuned all right guys a little update here um so we put on the extended shock towers uh which are great except for the 70 millimeter stock shocks that come with the rc four-wheel drive trail finder 2 uh are now maxed out even with only two uh of the three leafs uh on the suspension so uh it, it it can't actually function right now so i went ahead and bought the uh the old man emu um 80 millimeter sorry shocks and i was actually really pleasantly surprised these were filled with uh well partially filled with shock oil when they came i took the springs out because well we don't need that we've got the leaf springs um, but it's really nice to see a, a quality shock that isn't bone dry when you, when you open it up. So I went ahead, I pulled the spring out, filled it, uh, the rest of the way with shock oil. And, uh, now we're going to put those in. And then, uh, for fun, I also picked up the Ranchero, uh, steering stabilizer to replace, uh, the, you know, sort of plain looking black bar that currently exists uh so i'm gonna put those on and we'll uh see how it looks all right guys so the shocks are on uh like i said i went with the 80 millimeter and uh knowing that the 70 is is stock and I love the quality, but, you know, you could honestly probably get away with 90 millimeter. If you're doing this, you know, it's, it's up to you. But right here where we're at, that's, that's full extension. That's, right, you know, it's resting there. I didn't have to uh, depress the springs at all to be able to, to attach them. But you could get away with 90 if you wanted to. Um, I already bought these and put them on. I'm going to mess around with them for a while. We'll see how I feel. May go with the 90s at a different uh, point in time, but but uh, I like how they're looking. I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, steering stabilizer on, and we'll uh, we'll see how that one looks. I got to say, I was always wondering, when I saw this online as something that you can buy, what's it, what's it feel like? Is it going to actually, you know, because you can buy them for your shocks. But uh, no, it's it's very squishy. It's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna get a set for the shocks all around. Probably not in red though. That look a little tacky. Maybe black. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down below. All right, guys. So we had an issue. Um, there were a couple lengths to choose from uh, for the steering stabilizer. One was out of stock, so I took a gamble, and it was just plain old too long. So if I can here with one hand, I am going to show you how I fix that, and in the event that you run into the same issue. So the actual body of the shock, I guess you could call it, even though it's not, comes in two. All right, and then I took the uh, <clears throat> top piece off here 
And if you look, oh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to zoom in on this. I'll wait and do this. Uh, that silver spot there is uh, a break in the threading. So what I did is I just put the threading on the inside as opposed to it being on the outside, if that makes sense. But I'll show you in a second. Like this. So the break of the threading that's supposed to help you screw that end piece on uh, isn't there to assist you anymore, but it's on the inside. Then you can put it back together, and it looks like it should be fine and dandy. I will now put that to the complete test and be right with you. How about that? I went ahead and put these on upside down. Uh, down at the bottom there. I wanted that to be upright and it doesn't uh, get in the way of anything see how I feel about it after a few trail runs and then there we are look at that I'm a little squashed because of the way I did it but you know that can be fixed in the future went ahead and gave a little spritz in the, uh, in the little nooks and crannies with some WD-40 Blasted some dust out, oiled it up, wiped it down. Now we're going to put the body back on, battery in it, and uh, I'm going to go give it a shot. Make sure that you uh, hit like, subscribe, and leave any comments down below if you've got anything to say. As always, thanks for watching.